Hello and good morning everybody on Digging the Course 365. Had a wonderful time on the pirate ship. Uh, slept on it last night. We had a Chinese. We had a good laugh. It was a really nice experience. Unfortunately, we didn't get to sail anywhere because there were a few little problems with the uh, with the boat and it decided to stay there for another few weeks. But it was a great experience being on the boat with some really great guys. So thank you very, very much to all you guys for, for looking after me. So today, uh, a bit of a drive and I set off a bit late. So no digging today. I've come to Dover Castle and then I've got to be somewhere at two o'clock. So uh, I'm going to show you around Dover Castle, fingers crossed, and it does look pretty amazing. Here we go guys, quite an impressive castle it has to be said. Um, this was built in the late 1100s, King Henry II built it, he was like the, the biggest king in Europe at the time. So just to give you a better idea about Henry II himself, he was the great grandson of William the Conqueror the grandson of Henry I. His son was Richard the Lionheart and his grandson was Henry III. But apparently Henry II got into a lot of fighting with his own children. They were all trying to claim some of his land. Sounded like a, quite a greedy family at the time. It's very windy today and I've not brought my other camera with me. I'm on my phone so I'm having to hide in a corner. So, Henry II, basically it was French, he killed someone called Thomas Beckett, who I've never heard of, I don't know who he is, and all the locals didn't like that. So, what he tried to do is build this palace, it was a palace, to make everyone think he's really cool and nice, um, which eventually, after just like a hundred years, turned into more of a, a fighting place than a palace and uh, it's been used as a fortified fortification if you like a fortified castle for over 700 years so here we have a, a great big pile of helmets uh, 1900s 1900 yeah once you've seen one you've seen them all they're all 1900 helmets Art. Queen Catherine of Braganz. Sorry, I'm falling asleep. Don't do art. This is really impressive. This is a scarf which was actually crocheted by um, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria made this. This is one of eight which she made. She sent it out to her grandson in South Africa in 1900 who then sent it back to England for his wife and there is his wife wearing it amazing but I'm sorry Queen Vicky but uh, you made a bit of a mistake there love now that is one of the most impressive things I've seen in a museum you've all heard the story about uh, about them playing football England against Germany in uh, World War One on Christmas Day they decided to put down the weapons and just play football that ball was actually kicked over the top during that football match that is extraordinary so now we're in the keep again built by Henry II um, it's full of bread it's all gone very stale got chickens as well a bit of ham a few vegetables I do like how they've done it out this will have been the kitchen 
But I like the way they've put some, uh, you know, noise and music in the background. So you can imagine what it would have sounded like. Big hams hung up. It's amazing. There's no signs up telling you anything about anything, unfortunately, but there are uh, guides. You can actually be guided through. But uh, as you know, I'm a professional and I'm, I'm my own guide. I'm the guide. I'm the man. Uh, this is the room where kings came and stuff. I was particularly excited to come up here until I saw what it was. It's a toilet and I just banged my head really badly. Ow! Now this is the room where they would store all the liquor and wine. In here behind a, an iron gate. They're holograms. They're not real people. They're just talking about counting the barrels. The barrels. No, I said barrels. Oh, you're not even listening because you're a hologram. You can't hear me. I just noticed this here and it's actually a well. But look down the well. Look how deep that well is. Fantastic. And look at all that money. And you also had this area as well as the well where rainwater would collect in here. And this was like a lead lined reservoir, I suppose. Like a second well. But from above. From above. I think this room was like the school because it's got some desks in it and stuff. It stinks. It stinks of trumps. I'm at the top of the castle now and the views are extraordinary. Would you like to see some? That's really impressive, it's like a a very very old catapult pult type thing. And what would happen is if the king was eating on the top floor, they'd just put a load of like, I don't know, turkeys and potatoes, roast potatoes and peas and things in there and just catapult it right up to the top of the tower. No one could have ever invaded this place because this road is so steep. Honestly, even if you got through the front gate, uh, you'd need a rest by the time you got here. There is a restaurant just around here somewhere, but that won't have been there, you know, back in them olden days. So, people have been here since the Iron Age, they believe. Um, a Roman lighthouse and right next door, a Saxon church from the year 1000. As you can see, the Saxon church is still in use. There's a lot of restoration going on outside. Um, one of the guys just asked me if I wanted to go up on the scaffolding, but it's very windy, it's very windy, and I wouldn't be able to film on this in wind anyway. But when they restored this, going back into the 1300s, they did some restoration work, and underneath the steps they found a lot of rubble, and there was one big long slab thing, okay? Which people have been walking on for like 700 years. Well, hundreds of years at the time. And this was the slab. Now it's in the shape of, it could be the lid of a child's coffin, they're not sure. But to think, and it's this is Saxon. Um, so when they did restoration, they reused this to pretty much make a step. Unbelievable. And there you have an original Saxon doorway, which they've now, they've now blocked off. And here's a few things they've found around here. All Roman things, Roman loom weight there. A few jars, pottery, tiles. And over here, a few metal items. You've got uh, an axe head. And this probably says the key to this church door. That's fantastic. By the way, anybody watching who, who would like to donate, just do it now. Ka-ching!
What a stupid place to put a rubbish bin. So that was Dover Castle, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a good castle. Uh, it's over £20, which I, I think is a rip-off for any castle, anywhere, any museum really. Well, anywhere, anything. Nothing should cost over £20 apart from a house. Uh, maybe they should go up to like £30. Anyway, well it's free if you're in the English heritage, which I am. I enjoyed that. Uh, I wouldn't advise coming if you struggle to walk or you're disabled. There's a lot of walking involved. But I really enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me on Digging the Coast. I need my other hand. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 365. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to get straight back into digging. And I'm excited. <laughs>